Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Anniversary, Burning Dog fans. There's a very large threat in here that I need to deal with immediately. So I'm going to ditch this plasma pistol, get myself a uh, rocket launcher from a dead guy who should be just up here. Or maybe I've walked in a circle and I'm an idiot. Found him! Solved. Oh, I look like Samus is looking at me in X ray mode. Hey guys, what's going on up here? How did you guys know? Oh, needlers are dangerous and you're this low on health, I have to admit it. The enemy was always better with that with them than I was, even if they don't go for the uh seven needle reaction. You know it's funny, there's uh an achievement in uh one of the later games. Well once they started adding achievements anyway. that, uh... Take that. For, uh, trading weapons with a marine. And if I remember correctly, the actual icon is literally, uh... <laughs> a plasma pistol and a rocket launcher with arrows pointing at each other. <laughs> I actually made that... Distance appears to be increasing. We must be close to the control center. Oh, Jesus Christ, I turned around, and the guy I was making jokes about it looks so much like he's standing up that I went, Ugh! Huh. That's a totally different visual effect. That's probably bad. I'm just gonna throw that out there. You know, given that we are on a Forerunner installation and all. And they designed all of their technology to last, well... Literally forever. I would ask how they, uh, scratch their noses with such blunt hands. But they don't have any noses. You know what I know? Hard to say. Analyzing. This must be the call. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. No, no, no. Sorry, what? Shit, I actually missed what that last one was. Fortunately, this is a very linear game. When it's not, you know, fucking around with giant levels. Oh, God! Yes, if you're fast enough, you actually can steal that Banshee, which makes this uh, whole sequence play out, uh, remarkably differently, let me tell you. I dare you to charge me. <laughs> that was satisfying. Where'd you go? I wasn't even sure that would work. I don't remember if they stuck to vehicles or not. Oh, good. Now that's happening, too. Oh, he's just... Oh, he's not just fucking off. Ooh. Move. I don't even know what else is drawing a bead on me at this point. Ah! Oh, uh, maybe I should move. So, yes, this is the control room. Very subtle. Well, getting down is, uh, 
technically really, really easy, getting down alive more difficult. No, my shields! That was not the button I meant to press right there, but I will uh, go with it. Did he seriously just... Yeah, yeah, he did. Well, he didn't think that one through, did he? Oh. Okay. Do 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 oh right Shh. Ooh, I like this beat. Strangely eighties. Watching the arms stretch out doesn't help. bad. I don't think even if I could get on top of one of these, I could get in there. I would not be surprised if... Oh, right, yeah, that side. Duh. I knew it didn't remember that it was different on that side, didn't I? Well, let's see if I can get on top of that, for starters. The answer seems to be yes, if I can figure this bit out. Don't push me backwards, you ass! Nothing is easy. Yeah, I don't think I can make that, though. No! Oh, I walked off before I jumped. But I must know! I'm peering in there and craning my neck all around.
All right, all right, I'll go. But I will be livid if that turns out to be uh, important. Wrong side. Already stuck in my head. Great. Let's not have the rocket launcher in my hands as I go down into a tight corridor. Oh, I did just get a checkpoint, didn't I? I wonder if they repaired that or if what happened to me was a fluke. Just checking. <laughs> Surprise! Killing an elite freaks them out so much, it freaks them out even if they don't know you've killed an elite, apparently. I guess I go the other way then. Oh, I looked into it. Apparently there is a, uh, a terminal on the first level. I don't know what it is, what the video is, but you, uh, find it on the Pillar of Autumn's bridge. In the form of a, uh, human computer console. Not a, like, random Forerunner terminal just lying around. As many interesting questions as that would raise. Something I will use more often. Although I do feel like I've been using this specific combo a lot. Uh, I guess in fairness I should enjoy the uh, infamous Halo 1 pistol while I can. Sorry guys, they nerfed the shit out of this thing later on. Like really, oh my god. Commandeer one of those ghosts. We're going to need the firepower. Okay. Oh, you're. You, yeah, you've got a dude in you. And I'm shooting the ground. Jackal? No. No, that's an elite. Oh, hey, this is happening. But that's okay. I've got infinite ammo, even if I don't have a rocket launcher. Yeah, you can't squish anybody, but you can break their bones. Just FYI. I didn't actually hit anyone there. It was just a reminder of that thing I said earlier. I think there's a way to flip these things without killing the uh, pilots, or uh, to flip these things without breaking them, and you can even flip them back upright. Ah, good. That happened. No! Oh, God in heaven. Thank God for video game physics. Hey, here's a better idea. Oh, 
why I did that shot. That was dumb. Okay, okay, just for the sake of argument. Just checking. Oh, come on! Oh, that was close. Okay, I really approve of that one. Making it all glowy and cool. Even putting some lighting effect down. What the hell is that? Oh, you're not real, you're dead. I can see that. I don't think I've ever walked down here before. Huh. I will take that back. Or I could take the sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, there's that thing I saw. Oh, shit! It's the thing I've been looking for this whole time! And they threw it in a snow pit! <laughs> Glad I saw the glow. Hitchhikers may be escaping convicts? It has been 26 hours since the sentience landed in Sector 1215. And so far, they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. I say remains, because their landing was either not executed adequately, or this vessel lacked significant maneuvering capability. That's not the, the autumn. visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere on my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally cataloged here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. But I do not understand why these sentients have not attempted to exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. I am currently translating this automated broadcast, but with such a limited data set and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short-range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But, in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of any installation is permissible. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely, in light of all that has changed, I should be able to modify my responses to adapt to them. No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. I hope they come out soon, though. So many questions to ask. So many questions. I do not like that the word PLAN was capitalized. I really, really don't. And, uh... I gotta say, knowing exactly what he means does not change the fact that, uh, a lot of that was very deliberately vague language. That didn't make me feel any better about it. <laughs> the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. That's one way of, uh... It's an interesting way of putting it. Well, that seems bad. Not the needles, I meant the other thing. Once again, I would like to remind you where we are, that is to say, on a Forerunner installation. And, uh, then I will point out that there's just random chunks of debris lying around. I couldn't even tell.
how they were more damaged than I uh, got here originally. Oh, the timer. I'll just spin around like an idiot, I guess, and uh, get out here. I need a checkpoint to make sure I got that terminal. I mean, I got the achievement for it and everything, but you know. I wonder if you have to. Uh, I'm sure there's an achievement for getting all of the terminals. I wonder if you have to do them all in one campaign. Like, if I go back and do level uh, one's terminal after I finish. I think it'll count. Yeah, he did not have a good day. Oh, hey. Bullets. And now I have more. You're dead! Holy shit! Now that I think about it, I was never clear on whether the five feet tall thing refers to their heads or the tops of their, uh, uh methane tanks. Oh, checkpoint done. Rad. Okay. Ah. <sighs> so. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you next time. As we climb up to the ceiling the ceiling, up to the sky, and, uh, finally get our hands on Halo's control room. wonder how much ammo this thing has. <laughs> Later!